I was overseas 18 months. Made the assault landings at Guam, Lady, and Okinawa. What about that kamikaze that hit you that was off Okinawa? That was at Okinawa. We, uh, my division, was sent to Okinawa uh, on D minus six. Uh, that always seemed awfully early to me. <laughs> but we went up to secure certain islands uh, that were pivotal to the Navy before the major assault on the, the principal island of Okinawa. And uh, after we had accomplished our job and went out to sea in reserve uh, on D day, I believe it was, we got hit by the kamikaze. Was that? <coughs> that must have been one of the early ones. Were they just? Was that at the time when they were just starting this kind of? Uh, no, while we were at the Philippines, they were doing quite a bit of it. Uh, as history proves, a good deal of it was the result of the fact that our blockade had been so effective that they were running out of gas. And they had more planes than they had gas. Where did he hit your ship? Fortunately, um, he hit higher than I think he had planned to. And although there were two 500-pound bombs on the ship, on the plane that exploded in the ship, one exploded fairly high, and uh, uh, the principal damage to the mechanics of the ship was that the the engine hit the funnel and dropped down the funnel into the engine room and tore out everything that uh, was pivotal to the operation of that ship. So we were kind of a dead duck for a while. You were the senior officer present? I was the senior officer left alive. There were 75 killed and 150 wounded. And I was one of the 150, but what, uh, ambulatory and the ranking officer. Did you get badly? Your, your wounds were burns. They were, and I'm well, very fortunate in that, seemingly, I have that kind of skin that uh, doesn't scar too badly. Well, hands, and hands and face. Hands and face. Mm -hmm. Under wraps for a long time, huh? Well, I was six weeks in the hospital. But today, if I get out in the sun too long, you can see where, where the scars are. <laughs>